hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is mara and on this channel we like to make lifestyle videos as well as a combination of tech videos today we're getting a tech video and i'm super excited to share this with you guys because honestly it kind of works with your lifestyle and this is about the ios 15 update on apple so i'm no expert okay so but i do know some of the new updates i've been like living with it and honestly i've been loving it so you can get this on your iPhone and iPads if you have those kinds of things. I'm not sure about MacBooks, I don't own any of those things, but I'm going to talk to you guys about what you can do on your iPhone and your iPad with this new update. Now there's a lots of cool new things for iPads that I'm super excited to talk to you guys about, but first I'm going to talk to you guys about the things that both devices can do with the update, and then we'll go to iPads, so for all you people who are interested in iPad videos and or maybe you're interested in getting an iPad and you want to know about this update, stick around for the whole video. Yes, if you watch the whole video, it helps my channel out a lot. And if you hit that like button down there, it lets other people watch this video too. So help me out, like the video, stay till the end, and also subscribe. Thank you. All right, so the first thing that you can do that I'm so excited about, and literally this is one of the best things ever, tab groups. That's right, you can group your tabs on your iPhones and your iPads. I know, this is revolutionary. I'm so excited about this. Literally, I am an organized person, okay? So like, not having tab groups really annoyed me because I like to make groups of specific things. So now you can. If you have certain tabs that are all recipes open that you want to do, you can make a group called recipes. If you have tabs open for certain things that you want to look into, or maybe it's for a vacation, you can make a whole vacation tab group. And I think tab groups are so cool. <laughs> So when you go onto your Safari app, if you click on the area that says your number of tabs, there should be an option to add an empty tab group. Then once you do that, you can title it, call whatever you want, and then you can add tabs to it by press and hold your tabs, and then you can add and then tell it to go to a certain tab group. And then you can switch between your different tab groups, and it's just a fun way to organize your tabs and be an organized neat freak like i next thing super cool love this idea so glad they added it select the text in your photo to do certain things you can copy that text you can dial a phone number you can go to a website if there's like a website there and i think this is such a cool idea you can just copy and paste text from your photo so maybe you took a picture of a poster or something that you saw that had a bunch of information just select the text copy and paste it and then you have all that information in a separate area like on your notes you can do this in the photos app you can also do this on things on safari like websites that have photos you can do this too as well speaking of photos when you're in the photos app you can now click on the little eye next to your photo or video and it will give you information about that photo and video it'll tell you things like where it was filmed and how much storage is it taking up and all of these important things like the size of the photo like the pixel size and all that stuff and i think it's super cool especially if you're trying to get your storage down and you're looking to try and find what photos or videos are holding the most storage this tells you how much gigabytes this individual photo or video is taking up so honestly super cool i love the info thing and you can also add captions to title your photos and videos as well. Another thing that you can do for both things that is super helpful is you can set up a focus. So focus is a way to quickly and easily shut down certain notifications and things from your view to really focus on something. So you can make one for personal things, you can make it for work, you can make it for sleeping or going to bed and stuff like that. So I think this is a super cool way to customize how you want to be on do not disturb another thing that both devices can do is the notification summary you're not gonna see it right away if you go to your settings then you go to notifications and you tap scheduled summary you'll be able to see this giant little blurb about all your notifications instead of having to scroll through and click on things and look at it and also with ios 15 your notifications are much slimmer and it also looks a lot cleaner and nicer so that's the fun thing about ios 15 with notifications that i personally like and the last thing that we're going to be talking about is that you are now able to add extensions to your safari browser i know this is crazy you used to only be able to do this on computers but now you can add extensions like google chrome extensions for safari i know this is crazy at first i wasn't sure how this worked but i watched a video on it and now i get it 
and it's pretty cool. So if you wanted to do like online shopping on your thing or you wanted like honey or something like that, guess what? You can now get extensions and I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to your settings, you go to the Safari area, then you're going to go to extensions. Now on extensions, it's going to tell you if you have any extensions installed. It says I don't because I don't. And then you hit more extensions. It'll bring you to a special Safari extension page in the app store. Now you can only get to this through settings, I believe, but there's so many different things on here. Lots of ad blockers. You can also do a dark mode, shopping list options, password managers, and you can also add fun things like Grammarly and Honey, which I know are pretty big Chrome extensions that people tend to use. There's not a lot of things on here. I think they definitely need to keep adding stuff to it, but it's a start. I think it's pretty cool. And then you can use those extensions while you're on Safari. Now there's probably going to be lots more things that I'm not including in this video, but I'm just including some of my favorites. And now we're going onto the iPad category. Now this category, hold on to your hats because it's a big one. There's so many good things in here. I literally am obsessed with the iPad update. So if you're thinking about getting an iPad, this might be some fuel to get it because all this stuff is super cool. I love it. So you can do all the stuff I said before on an iPad and this stuff now. First thing iPhones, they can have widgets on their screen, but iPads could not have widgets on their home screen until now. That's right, you can put widgets on your home screen. You can put them on any page, you can put them at the bottom, at the top, or the side, it doesn't matter. You can put widgets on your home screen, they could be any size, and I think this is so good because you used to not even be able to do this. You could do it um, on the side, but you couldn't actually do it on the actual home screen. Literally, this is so amazing. I love this. I already customized my iPad and that's going to be another video um, coming soon. So I'm just so excited about this update, if you guys can't tell. So iPads could already do this, but the Apple update made it a lot easier to do this. iPads could do something called split view, which is really nice if you want to have maybe a video playing, but you're also taking notes of that video at the same time. And you can have two different apps running at the same time. Now I really like this, but you kind of had to do something weird you had to like open one app and then swipe up and then move this around and do all this stuff but they made it super easy to do a split view if you click on the top three little dots at the top of your ipad screen and you choose the split view you choose um do you want one app taking up the whole space or do you want the app that you're currently on to be on the right or the left if you choose the right or the left It'll take you momentarily out of your app and choose the app that you want on the other side of your screen. It's super easy. I love this and it makes it a lot easier to do split view on iPad. Another thing that iPhone had during the iOS 14 update, but the iPads do not. I know a lot of people like their app libraries and now the iPad has it too. If you keep swiping, once you reach the point where you're finished going through all your screens, you're going to reach the app library. It's also in the bottom on the control dock. So this is such a fun way to um, keep all your apps there and then you can just have the basic apps on your home screen. So if you like App Library, well guess what? You can now do it on iPad too. Another fun thing that I really like and is super cool is called Quick Note. So what this does, if you go from your bottom right part of the screen and you swipe up, you can open up a Quick Note and you can write things in them, you can draw on it, you can do really things and then it will save to your notes app and it's super easy way to write a quick note about something that you're on it could be on a website it could be on a document that you have open and you can just swipe up from the right and then you'll have a little quick note and then get rid of it when you're done some other quick updates i'm not going to talk all about but you can also screen share and listen or watch with your people in FaceTime. So if you're FaceTiming someone, you can screen share with them or watch videos together, or listen to music together. So that's one thing that you can also do with iOS 15. I thought I'd put that in there in case anyone wanted to know. But yeah, those are my favorite things about iOS 15. Let me know what your favorite is. Maybe you have tips that I didn't talk about. Put it down below. I would love to hear about them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.